Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rhea and in today's video, I will be showcasing different community lots that will hopefully help add some fun and some realism to your gameplays. Also note that all of these lots that I'm about to show you are completely CC free, so enjoy! So the first lot that we will be looking at is this beautiful yacht by Luzi underscore Lu underscore 77. Um, I just love how realistic and big this yacht is. It's perfect for when you want your sim to go on vacation. It's definitely something that you could add into your like storytelling. So maybe your sim and their friends go to Solani to have a vacation and they rent a yacht for a birthday or something or even like a bachelorette party, you know? Or even like a romantic um, cruise between your sim and their lover. Again, those are just a few ideas you can incorporate into your game. So this build has three decks and a boarding dock. I love how they added the, some jet ski on here. On the first floor, we have some seating area with like a big kitchen and a big bedroom with like um, its own ensuite. So on the left side, we have a lodging area with a hot tub. So note that I do not have the original hot tub that the original original creator used. So I had to include a CC version. But again, this is a CC free build. I just had to include this one just to show you the function. Again, so beautiful, so simple and like elegant. On the second floor, we have a dining space with a bedroom and a small office space and again, a small washroom. I just love how they maximize the usage of the space. Everything is so functional and the overall floor plan just makes sense. It's very organized, again, very realistic. And I love how clean looking it looks, you know? On the third level, again, we have another seating area with a bar. Again, I can totally imagine my sims hanging out here at night, drinking wine, just cruising through the sea during sunset. Oh my god, a dream. Again, I love how modern it looks and I know they didn't use a lot of like curves, but somehow they made it work like it looks like a real yacht. The overall structure was very well done and again like the the interior is very simple but is very elegant it's so nice but yeah like the whole build the builder of this build is like so so talented i just again love the overall styles of course the layout and the usage of the space was done perfectly and again this will definitely elevate your sims gameplay so the next lot that we will be looking at is this summer camp by Isagrim Sims. Again, sorry if I butchered your name. So this lot is definitely like game changing. It's so beautiful and so detailed, very realistic. And it's definitely a lot that you need to add into your game if you have family with kids. So I'd imagine them to be um, going here during summer vacation and just hanging out with friends and classmates and just having like the best summer of their lives. So just by looking at like the entrance, you already know that um, you can already tell like this lot is going to be super detailed. I love how there's like a big huge welcome sign with the statue and all the sunflowers. It's so welcoming and so realistic. Like it actually looks like a campsite that so when you enter the site you have this little uh, booth station where you'd probably check in your kids or even your teens honestly so it's perfect for both age group so again from the entrance you have this big big open space it's where you have a lot of seating and a lot of like campfires there's a gardening area and a pond and all that I just love how there's so many things to do and I imagine like a bunch of kids and teens in this area doing like different activities um, and then during the nighttime they would all gather in this like area over here where they tell stories and sing by the campfire and like roast marshmallows 
From there, we have like a couple of buildings around. I love how scattered they are. I love how it's laid out and how the building surrounds the main open space. It just feels very safe and very cozy. So the first building that we will be looking at is this. Um, I'm guessing this would be like a, a community dining space. So there's our huge kitchen. And then the dining area, of course, and then just some activities. And then the next building is the community washroom. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful pond nestled in the back. I just love how what they did with the landscaping. Again, another talented builder. Uh, the detail that was put into this lot is incredible. Like I'd see Sims gather in this area during a really hot summer day. It's so nice. I don't know how they did it, but wow. Like look at that. So from there, like we have another building. Um, these are like some of the sleeping quarters. I love that all the interiors are different. They all give a different vibe and they all have different activities inside. So this sleeping quarter, um, it has a space dedicated for like science and all that jazz. I love the clutter in the space. And then the next um, building is another sleeping quarter, but this space has like a wood working area. So nice, so realistic. We have another um, sleeping area and then here we have a little garden shed where again I mentioned there's like a lot of like gardening area and look at this even like the rakes and stuff on the floor like wow and then lastly we have this building over here um, I'd imagine this to be like the camp for like for the camp counselors so they would have like a sleeping area like a little desk station so yeah that's pretty much like the entire lot i'm sure i've missed a lot of things that's how detailed it is but i guess that's something for you guys to explore so definitely check this out yourself so this next lot is by plummy sims this is called the brindleton bay outer cinema so this lot is small, but it has so much character. Again, it's such a good lot to have in your game to add some realism and some storytelling. Like, it's so cozy, it's so cute, and like, I don't think it even uses a lot of packs, which is a plus if you don't have a lot of them. Um, I can already imagine Sims going here, like, on a Saturday night to hang out with the neighborhood and watching a movie. It's a great place to gather and meet new Sims. Um, I love how cozy it looks, even at night. Like, look at this. Like, wow, it's so nice. I don't even have words to describe how homey this, like, look and feel. So, again, there's, there's a, like, a main stage where uh, they use the little campers projector. I love how they incorporated, like, different seating, which says a lot about the atmosphere of the space. Like it looks like a space that the community like built together and then also there's some like seatings and like a food stall where your sims can get food and again it's like a super small lot but it's definitely on like the top of my list it's so so good and again this lot allows for so many storytelling opportunities so for example like i would imagine my teen sims and their boyfriend or or girlfriend going here for their first date like it's so romantic just thinking about it again one of my favorite lots like the landscaping is insane it's so detailed so the next lot that we will be looking at is by lady chaos so this is called the fall festival so again another beautiful lot this lot is also insanely detailed i think it's one of my favorite lots so far um so there's just so many activities you can do and again it provides a lot of opportunities for storytelling so 
Another example would be, um, I would imagine using this space obviously during the fall, where your family or your sim can go to and ce celebrate fall fest and even celebrate Halloween. I'll see. Um, you can even add some pumpkin patches and pretend like they would. Your sims can go pick for pumpkins, and you, if you have the spooky stuff pack, you can definitely add some pumpkin carving station again the overall vibe and how packed it is with details it's crazy so you enter the space and look i already love the entrance it's so nice so again when you enter the space you have this like huge stage where your sims can perform and they have this little like dance mat where your sims can dance um and look how crazy this is like they use this palettes with the hay bales to make some custom seating like how do you even come up with that it's so crazy um and then on the right side we have like a small parking lot not just for cars but also for like bikes there's also like a small pond in the middle like the landscaping is just insane and then there's a roller rink and then again some seating in the back where your sims can eat and dine and again a few stalls and here we have like a chicken coop which i'd imagine to be like a like a petting zoo area for kids lastly we have this ferris wheel which just elevates the whole lot like it's so beautiful like it'll be more beautiful if um the season was during fall but but i wasn't able to change the season in the game and then there's also this building at the back like wow So this building offers more activities. So we like have like this little like jam session over here. And then we have a uh, space for the kids. And then like a game room area. And then the flower arranging arranging station. On the second floor we have like a we have a small pub area where I'd imagine all the grown-ups will be hanging out. So there's a little bar area over here. It's so beautiful. It's so nice. Again, another incredibly fun lot to have in your game. So nice. So the last building that we will be looking at is this gorgeous vacation spot by Plump Up King. So it's actually like us like the lot type is actually a spa but i think it's gonna this is perfect for like a vacation spot um this build is crazy like it's insane how someone has the talent to do this like i'm blown away um so again you can add this to your game and like have your sim travel here for vacation or like a honeymoon it feels like you're in a completely different country so i would pretend that my sim would travel like across the globe just to go here and have them book a reservation for this fancy new hotel and have like you know their honeymoon and even have you know go on a social media career like an influencer come here and blog their experiences about the, this gorgeous island you guys probably can come up with better ideas but those are the things that i imagine doing in my own let's play so looking at the building i guess we'll start off outside like, it's so beautiful like i love how there's different layers and elevations but still manage to look cohesive um i love the overall layout and the use of textures in the space so looking at the front of the building we have this gorgeous entrance where your sim can check in so you have like a reception desk here um the wood against like the black accent is just so perfect like it looks elegant and like rustic at the same time 
so on the left side we have some washrooms and then some more private spa area where your sim can have like a couple's massage and then the sauna let me just take out the grid for you there you go it's so beautiful like it's crazy how simple but so detailed it is at the same time and then moving on to the right side um we have more stations to get your nails done and then another like spa area for like yoga and meditation there's also like a small bar we move on to my favorite part of the build this is this middle area where um, they incorporated this like hot spring bath in the middle like imagine soaking in this bath and like overlooking like the ocean it's crazy and then from there we have this like large body of water with this beautiful bridge like i would have my sims go here to take lots of photos because it's so detailed and so beautiful like wow and then we move on upstairs so we have more spaces for like lounging and then there's um workout area and then more um spaces to get massages so in terms of like having your sim go here for vacation i'd honestly transform one of the rooms into like a bedroom so it'll act like a hotel slash spa um you can pretend it's gonna it's a hotel by adding like a bedroom honestly it's so beautiful and i honestly don't know what else to say but wow like i love the overall architecture like the ambiance and the overall atmosphere and aesthetic of the space like it's unreal like and in terms of functionality the layout is just perfect and in terms of like programming i think the rooms like work very well like beside each other like it's so nice it's unbelievable so that's all i have for you guys for now um i hope you enjoyed touring these slots as much as i did and again kudos to all the building creators so much talent are in this community it's insane and again i will have more of these videos for you guys so please like and comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye